Emily Ratajkowski, 31, kicked off her brand new podcast series, High Low with M. Rada, earlier this week, and didn't hesitate to get straight into topics of sex and gender preferences in the bedroom. The model and actress insisted she doesn't believe in the concept of straight people, preferring to see sexuality as a sliding scale. Emily's comments came soon after she joined the green couch trend on TikTok, where it is claimed that any woman with a green sofa is communicating a bisexual identity. The star, who first rose to fame after appearing in Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines music video, got in on the action when she posted a photo of herself perched on a sofa with a distinctive and unusual furniture color. When she was asked about the footage, which quickly went viral, Emily chuckled, my girlfriend came over and was like, bitch, have you seen the green couch thing? She was laughing at me because my green couch is so big. She added in conversation with Harper's Bazaar, I think sexuality is on a sliding scale. I don't really believe in straight people. Emily had been divorced from her estranged husband, Sebastian Bear McLeod, for less than a month when she published the attention-grabbing post. He is the father of her son, Sylvester Apollo, who the pair welcomed back in March 2021. Meanwhile, Emily, who is considering getting back onto the dating circuit soon, has opened up about her feelings regarding sex on a first date. She revealed on her podcast that power dynamics influence her decision about when to take a date to the bedroom, but that ultimately women should do whatever the hell they want. I've been thinking about this a lot because it speaks so much to power dynamics and sex on the first date is the ultimate example of that, she mused. That's, because you're dealing with gender dynamics in such a specific little vacuum of a moment. I think if you're not ready to be vulnerable, that is a reason not to have sex on the first date. Dot she also added that another pet peeve is men with an ill hit that vibe, even if she's attracted to the person, as she is looking for more than a purely physical connection. Meanwhile, she says men who don't make their way into her bedroom are much more forgettable to her. If I don't sleep with them, I think about them less. I can forget them in three days, she exclaimed. During the chat with her friend Barbara, she added, I think the conclusion we've come to is that you should do whatever the hell you want to do. The celebrity website Dumois suggested that Emily had recently been out on a date with 58-year-old Brad Pitt in Paris who is 27 years her senior. She has neither confirmed nor denied anything about Brad, but did speak out on the pleasures of being single. I'm newly single for basically the first time in my life ever, she exclaimed to Variety magazine. The Gone Girl star added, I just feel like I'm kind of enjoying the freedom of not being super worried about how I'm being perceived. 